So after taking the very short boat trip across the water, you arrive here at the entrance to the double tree in Fiji. It's just a little bit of water we just came across in the boat there. To the left there you've got a little children's play park if you've got kids with you, a tennis court. And it's just a short path, a walk up to the reception, getting all checked in. The grounds are absolutely beautiful. So Double Tree in Fiji is on this little little sort of remote island just across from the mainland. It's still considered the mainland, but it's, it's maybe a 30 second to a minute little boat taxi across the water. So it's completely secluded and private. Here, here we are just approaching reception. the wee cart there, that'll take you to your room. It's a little, little mini taxi at the resort. If you're staying a little bit far away, they'll just give you a lift 24 seven, basically, back and forth from the pool to your room. This is the main reception lobby area. Small shop here just for your, all your incidentals, some chocolate, some crisps, sunscreen, anything you've might have forgotten, some ice cream for the kids. Through reception takes you on to the pool, and behind the pool is the sea view. You're right on the beach, right on the coast. Some sun loungers here. There's not that many sun loungers at the pool side, to be fair. And this to your right is the main restaurant. This is the buffet restaurant for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, lunchtime is a a la carte order off the menu. It's just a sort of short and brief menu. Pizzas, chips, kids menu, salads. It's nice enough. It's not too extensive. But for breakfast and dinner it's a buffet. Each night there's a different theme for your food. Last night was uh, pizza and I think tonight's Asian. Under the straw house, as my little man calls it, you have the swim up bar, which is open from about 11 in the morning. I think the pool stays open till about 10 at night. Here is the second restaurant. It's the sort of a la carte, sort of fancier style restaurant called Tavu Bar and Grill. Uh, sort of more kind of meat and speciality plates chicken and steaks. We've not ate there yet, but I believe it is nice. Uh, there's been a couple of complaints about it being a little bit slow. However, you are in Fiji and even the locals would call it Fiji time. So uh, just relax, enjoy your holiday. And then just on the seafront there is the sort of mini spa where you can get a massage. Looking out to the water, how more relaxing can it be? And there's a few more sun loungers just on a wee sand area and just before the, the sea water, which is sort of um, a kind of rock front, so it's not a beach as such. For the beach, you have to walk kind of either end of the, the wee island. And that's just a wee view of the pool and the restaurant. 
from the water side. You've got your main pool and a little kind of jacuzzi bit here with the bubbles. There's a very small sort of kiddies area at the side if you've got very small kids and within the pool area itself there's a variety of different depths suitable for all ages. Either side of the main reception you have a couple of blocks of rooms I believe these are the sort of standard rooms and um, balcony or a terrace these will be your queen room or your double queen room and this is either side of reception so both sides of reception have this and all the rooms are along the waterfront and after the block of rooms you've got what's known as bures which is basically little apartments I think it's two to a building this is what we are staying in yeah, absolutely stunning uh, we're lucky enough to have a viewer at the front uh, to have a kind of uninterrupted sea view and you get a perfect perfect nighttime sort of a uh, sunset and in the morning it's calm and beautiful just listen to the water crash against the rocks it's pretty sensational we were up about seven o'clock this morning just with the the boys just sitting out for a few minutes in the balcony was lovely so there's quite a few of these and they stretch a fair distance actually it must be a good few hundred yards um we are towards the end which in the 30 degree heat is a bit of a walk however the little taxi cart that i showed you at the reception door will give you a lift 24 7 as i said before so you can call them from your room phone or just speak to them at reception if you're going the other way and they'll come and pick you up or they'll come and drop you off which is really handy at the minute i'm just taking a wee walk just to show you So we've been here um, two nights now and very happy with it. The staff are unbelievably friendly. I mean, the Fijian, Fijian people seem to be really, really nice, really happy in life. Absolutely no complaints so far. Actually, staff can, can't do enough for you. Um, the hotel were great with us. We were meant to come here about three weeks ago. Unfortunately, we got COVID and um, really wasn't sure how that was going to work. It's sort of... Um, September 22 now, so I mean, a lot of the, the world is sort of past lockdowns and beyond COVID and the, I suppose the, the concessions you were getting for travel probably aren't as wide and varied now, aren't as available, so I wasn't sure what was going to work. However, there was no extra cost and the hotel were just kind enough to change our, our booking for three weeks later with, as I say, no additional cost. So couldn't complain at all, was really happy with that and then since arriving they've been super super nice. Um, so yeah, happy days.